Victor. The way in Latin is one of the largest and the most complex experiments of the present day science. Considering the ever growing energy demands of the human race, this device aims at demonstrating nuclear fusion as an economically viable, safe, limitless and environment friendly source of energy. In simple terms, it simulates the reactions in the sun in a magnetically confined bottle called tokamak on earth. ITER formally came into existence in November 2006 with the signing of the ITER treaty in France. The ceremony hosted by the then French President Jacques Chirac and the President of European Commission Durao Borasso was attended by members from the participating nations with the Indian delegation led by Dr. Anil Kakotkar, the then chairman of the Department of Atomic Energy. India had formally joined ITER in 2005 when an international panel of observers visited the Institute for Plasma Research located in Gandhinagar, Gujarat and found the facilities and developments to be at par with any other laboratory in the world. ITER is presently under construction at a nuclear site Kadarash, which is about 100 kilometers from the famous port city of Marseille in France. Now if one looks inside an ITER machine, which includes the main machine, the tokamak and the auxiliary systems, one observes that it is an assembly of millions of components, or in other words, a naval construction but with a watch-like precision. The components spread over five floors of the ITER building, which has a height of 60 meters. In other words, in simpler words, it is about 13 meters shorter than the height of the historical monument in Delhi, the Qutub Minar. India's commitments to ITER include supply of a variety of components covering almost all the major branches of science and engineering. The supply to ITER with components meeting the norms of safety and quality considering the survival experimental time of more than 15 years in a hostile nuclear environment and within the time commitments is also coupled with the mandate of achieving the same through developing the Indian industry towards self-reliance and interacting with the vast knowledge bank of hundreds of scientists and engineers working at various universities, institutes of excellence, as well as other scientific institutions in India. One of the most important component, which is the heaviest and demands precision machining, is the world's largest thermos called the cryostat in tokamak parlance. The component, which is about 29 meters high and wide, uses around 3,800 tons of stainless steel, the weight of 20 Boeing 747s put together. It is vacuum tight and evacuated to levels of density, which is 1 million times less than the density of air. The function of this gigantic thermos is to provide an ultra-cool vacuum environment for the ITER machine, the tokamak, and the superconducting magnets. In line with the mandate of developing components within Indian industry to help them to develop in the field of fusion-related technologies and make ourselves self-reliant for the future, the contract for me making this gigantic piece of equipment was awarded to Messrs. Larson and Trubro Mumbai in 2012 after extensive discussions and deliberations. This started the almost decade-long journey of fabrication with extensive discussions between the engineers and scientists from ITER India and the people with the hands-on experience from LNT. It was realized that not only has this component to be fabricated to the desired tolerances and quality, but also needs to be shipped from India to ITER site in France. This led to breaking the cryostat in a puzzle split into separate pieces called segments. The cryostat was majorly broken into four sections, the base sections, the lower cylinder, the upper cylinder, and the top lid. The segments were made to be made in the LNT facility at Hazira, India, transported to the IO site in France, and finally assembled in the cryostat workshop at site. The base section of this cryostat is the single largest load of the cryostat assembly with a weight of 1,250 tons. The manufacturing of this required some of the heaviest forgings up to 18 tons for a single segment 
of the 21 meter diameter pedestal ring. These 200 mm plates are assembled together to form the support for the 22,000 ton ETA machine. The fabrication not only required heavy forgings and machining, but also extensive welding expertise to join plates of various thickness, like the one shown here, to the tolerance of 12 millimeters over 21 meter in diameter. The finished segments were then trial assembled at the Hazira plant to achieve a 19 millimeter tier one structure of the base section. This was followed by the trial assembly of the tier two assembly of the pedestal ring. Once confident that the fabricated pieces were of the desired quality and standards, the shipment of the segments happened in 2015 with the load of segments transported via sea from the Hazira port in Surat in India to Fosumer in Marseille, France. From the port started the three day long journey to the ETA site. Special crane frictures had to be designed and manufactured to enable unloading of the segments at the ETA cryo workshop. The 110 meter by 45 meter cryostat workshop is a special facility set up by ETA India at the ETA site to enable assembly of segments into the larger pieces of the puzzle. Thus started the precision work of assembling these segments to the slowly and gradually the puzzle pieces got assembled into an assembly of tier 1 and tier 2 of the base section. These sections were then joined to form the complete base section which at a distant look resembled a 29 meter diameter soup ball. The manufactured segment was formally handed over to Eater IO in a special ceremony in July 2019. The Indian delegation here was once again led by Dr. Anil Kakotkar. Addressing the audience with shining eyes, he said, ETER is our hope for the energy freedom of the world at large, for the development of a large part of humanity that is presently underdeveloped. ETER is the way to the new paradigm that the world is desperately looking for. Once handed over, started the preparations to transport this soup bowl from its place of manufacture, the cryostat workshop, to the seismic pit in the Tokamak Hall through the assembly hall. The journey from the cryostat to the assembly hall was on a self-propelled modular transport trolley having 100 wheels which are all synchronized to provide a jerk-free transport. Meanwhile, the segments of the lower and upper cylinders also got fabricated in the LNT Hazira plant, transported in batches and got assembled in the cryostat workshop. The base section load was heavy and big. The movement required a careful distortion-free handling and transport over the 110 meter long distance from the assembly hall to the tokamak pit. Two 750 ton cranes with four spreader arms were engaged and synchronized to enable the lifting, transport and lowering over the 30 meters into the pit. With the base section now in place in its proper location, the Tokamak pit, with a 3 mm positional precision tolerance, India stands tall and proud of not only meeting its international commitments in time with the desired precision and standards, but also having ensured and demonstrated self-dependence in its ability to build and handle such large pieces of device important from the fusion technology perspective. It really is a unique example of building trust in engineering calculations, planning, strategy, control, and above all, the abilities of the engineers from ITER India and the industry involved in the making which has made India leave its mark on the global platform. Meanwhile, excellent progress continues at the LNT workshop, manufacturing the last segments of the top plate with the last segment transport scheduled for August this India. Here, India would have successfully demonstrated to the world its capabilities in the field of heavy and precision engineering and most importantly, its reliance or self-reliance in this area.